of course, this is Bill Waters coming at you. Well, today we're going to talk about something I find pretty unique. Well, what colors is a mirror, Bill? That's the question I get asked a lot. And if, a lot of my classmates probably know what it is because I have told them. But in truth, what, what color is a mirror? Well, it's a tough question. Well, first we have to start off, how does light, what is light in general? Well, light is a wavelength, and wavelengths bounce off objects. For instance, wavelengths are bouncing off my skin, and you can identify my skin is very white. They call me white trash, okay? Well, actually, I'm a little bit tan. But the only reason you're seeing this is because light waves from artificial and natural light are bouncing off my skin and then deflecting into your eyes. The retina, or I should say the cornea, reflects it, bounces off the top of the lens, and then the neurons in your eye interpret that. So in truth, a mirror is no color except what your eyes determine it. So that is what light is. So basically, uh, the color of a mirror, you could say it might be crimson or silver, but that would not be true. Just because it appears that way in the cartoon version, the stereotype it like that, it's not that color. Well, because a mirror reflects every single wavelength, every single color of light, you could say a mirror is every single color. But that's not entirely true. If you've ever noticed, if you have one mirror here and another, another mirror here, and you look down one, it bounces off and keeps going almost forever. In truth, it does go forever until it gets molecularly smaller and smaller and smaller until it no longer exists. Well, have you not ever noticed that if you look down one, it sort of starts to reflect green? And uh, that's, this is because, because a mirror, a mirror, mirror, a mirror reflects green light the most. So, a mirror reflects every single color, but it slightly, slightly reflects green the most.